Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalm 139, verse 23 and 24. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. And first and foremost, it goes, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wickedness, wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. I repeat, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Now, this was the psalmist speaking, the psalm, um, psalmist David, the king of Israel was speaking he says search me O god and know my heart so here the psalmist was beckoning to god to justify him was beckoning on beckoning to god to search his heart was beckoning to god to look through his heart and look through his mind because god knows the heart of man of every man he created every man on the face of earth in the flash god knows the heart of everybody so he says search me O god and know my heart because God, um, David was written as the man after God's own heart. Then the second one is, try me and know my anxieties. So he's saying, try me and know the things that make me shudder, the, know my fears, know the things that in within me, know, know the, the things that make me panic. Say, so try me. That is, search my mind, search my body, search my spirit, search my soul, search my words, search my actions. Then the third piece says, and see if there is any wicked way in me. So the psalmist had justified himself and wanted God to confirm the justification. The psalmist has said, in humility, try me, O Lord. I'm not being boisterous. I'm not being pompous. I'm not being self-righteous. But try me and see if there is any wicked way in me. If there was a wicked way in the, in the psalmist, the psalmist was ready to change his ways, was ready to repent of his sins, to repent of his faults. He said, try me and see if there is any wicked way in me. He said, and lead me in the way everlasting. So here the psalmist was, his ultimate humility he said, lead me in the way everlasting, lead me in the way that I should go, lead me in the path that I should thread, lead me in the way that I should move, lead me in the way that I should go, lead me in your ways, the ways that are the ways that are the ways of God, lead me in the ways of righteousness, lead me in the ways of following after the fruits of the Spirit, lead me in the ways that will bring everlasting life to my life ultimately now i want to pray that god is able to expand our minds on this word that god is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word that ultimately god will give us the grace to continue to follow him the grace to stay away from wickedness the grace to stay away from evil doing the grace to stay away from sin the grace to continue to thrive in him because he is God, because he will constantly endorse us, because he will constantly justify us, because he will constantly make us the one that he wants to use for his glory. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless in Jesus name. Amen. Amen.